That is incredible, especially with the reflection in the lake. I am a sucker for castles, so when I heard that there was this really beautiful castle right here on the lake, I was like, I need to go and check that out really fast. Even though it wasn't on my itinerary at all, I, I just can't, can't pass up a good castle. <laughs> I was in this exact same spot last year, but you couldn't see anything because of the rain and the fog. But today it's perfect weather and I can see all the mountains around this area. It's just gorgeous. I could just sit here all day. This cable ride up here has actually been the longest one I've ever taken. And I've done gondolas in all kinds of places in Asia, the USA. When you come over here to view Chapel Bridge, definitely go past it. There's a second bridge here, and this is where you can get some fantastic photos of the bridge. Fantastic long green bench at the top of this hill. And you can just sit on it, just relax, and get a nice view of the mountains that are right over there next to the city. Okay, I've been walking a long time today, so I am really tired. <laughs> Well, this is actually a perfect spot to take a rest with a really nice view of the church behind me. So right here in my backpack, I actually took some chocolates today from the hotel. And uh, now I'm gonna try them really quick since I'm taking a rest. These are called Kagi. And uh, apparently they're famous in Switzerland. They're really cheap. You can buy them at the uh, co-op store for a few dollars. And uh, they're little chocolate wafer cookies. They're really good, actually. So if you want some really good, inexpensive Swiss chocolate, highly recommend these. Mm-hmm. If I'm not careful, I'll probably eat the whole box. Hey everyone, <laughs> today is one of the nicest days I've been here in Zurich and I can even see the mountains in the distance with the snow on top, really beautiful. But this is Lindenhof Park and it's one of my favorite spots, probably in the whole country because it's so peaceful and got this incredible view of the river right there and of the buildings lining it. It's very, very European looking, <laughs> in fact, Switzerland might be the most European country, which kind of makes sense because it's located right in the middle of everything. It's surrounded by five countries, so it borders. One of the first things I learned was that if you're over on the west side of the country in Geneva, they speak French. Here on the eastern side, they France, speak German, Germany, in the south, they Liechtenstein, speak Italian, Austria, and Italy, and even Romanish. So today's video, I just want to talk about life in Switzerland and what that's like. And I feel like I can only say that because I have been here for more than two weeks now. And uh, I no longer feel like a tourist, although I pretty much still am one. I was saying earlier, I do really love this park, but it can get very, very busy with tourists like me who want to come for the views of the city of Zurich. Anyway, moving on, what I want to talk about first 
is probably the most important thing when thinking about coming here to visit or to stay, and that's the expense of living, because it is probably the most expensive country in the world. Things are not cheap here, let's put it that way. And so I've learned quite a bit about how to manage my money and how to make it go further. The ways I've found to save money actually just revolve around where I stay, what I eat, and how I get around. So I would say find yourself a cheaper hostel rather than a more expensive hotel. As far as eating goes, go to the local grocery store like the co-op or Denaire. They're everywhere, even the train stations. And I get most of my meals from there, honestly. Going to a restaurant or cafe can cost quite a bit, actually. So I try not to go there too often. Although I will admit I need my cup of coffee every once in a while. So that's something I will splurge on. As far as getting around, you can rent a car and it's quite easy because the roads are fantastic. Just stay you know, within the speed limit, you'll be fine. And if you're like me, you're a citizen, all you need is your regular driver's license to rent a car. But I would say the best way to get around is actually just to use public transport here. And it's fantastic. It goes to every small village, every major city. It's clean, it's comfortable, it's very fast. And it's not that expensive, especially if you get a pass or you get a ticket that lasts a little bit longer, which I've done because I've been here a few weeks now. Another thing to keep in mind is the geography of Switzerland. Now, before I came here, all I really knew about were the Alpine mountains and how gorgeous they were with the snow-capped peaks. And, and that's what you see in all the brochures and all the videos, but there is a lot more to it than that. In fact, Switzerland, you can actually divide it in half. The northern half is actually quite flat and hilly, the Swiss Plateau. And the southern half, about 60%, actually has those mountains in the south. Both are equally beautiful and have some great things to see, especially the bigger cities are all in the north, like Zurich, Geneva, Basel. And then in the south, you've got a smaller city of Interlaken, which is kind of a jumping off point to see a lot of those places in the Alps people want to go to, like Grindelwald and Zermatt. Another great thing about the public transit when we're talking about going around is that you can pretty much get anywhere in this country in three to four hours. It is that small and that easy to just jump on a train and go. So I've been taking lots and lots of day trips so I can see as much as I possibly can before I leave. I mean, I'm sure I'll come back because I have really enjoyed it, but it might be a while. Well, I hope I've given you guys some food for thought and things to think about if you're planning on coming and visiting. I highly recommend it. The summer and as well as the winter are probably really great times, except they're also very busy. I've been here in the spring and fall now, and honestly, not too busy, but the weather has never quite cooperated. Today, it's super nice out, but that seems to be a rare case for me. Maybe it's just my bad luck. Thanks so much for joining me today on this video as I've tried to explain my perspective on staying here for a while and what it's like. I hope you guys get a chance to visit sometime and uh, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me today. Life's a journey meant to be shared. Remember to always travel with an open heart and an open mind. Enjoy the ride and keep your eyes on the horizon for the next adventure. I'll see you out there.